tench on a tench weekend, but we still managed to catch. Hi guys, welcome to another edition of uh, Fishing at Stack Alex on my channel. I'm Shawnee T. Uh, if you haven't seen me before, please get yourself familiar by looking back to some of the other videos and see what we get up to. Um, as you can see, just a nice little cap there. Downside is this weekend is our tench weekend. It's the 8th and 9th of June. This is an annual thing we do. We've got quite a lot of people on here today. If it holds off with the rain, we'll whip around with the camera and show you to see who else is uh, catching. Um, According to Facebook, I've seen that my dad is catching about five or six now. Oh, he's up to about five or six now while we're on the uh, next lake on. Um, I myself have only had the one cap so far, but I was a bit late starting. So a bit of a rundown, we've got two rods out. Um, both fishing method, reasonably close in. Big baits on, one you've just seen has got a pineapple boilie on. Other one this side has got a chunk of meat on. Uh, that was the first fish taken, um, but primarily we're after the tench fishing. Um, so hopefully it'll be a good weekend. We're here for today and tomorrow, so we'll try and conserve the batteries a little bit better and give you some decent footage and it saves me on time on editing as well. So, so until then, we'll um, knock the camera off, save the battery, and I'll uh, check back in as soon as we've got some more fish. Hope you're all good. See you soon. So guys, just a quick rundown. Um, so we're back on the method feeder. Uh, we're on little pineapple boilies. Uh, we're dropping these in the method feeder. A touch of the lava, bloodworm flavoured glug. Nice. A bit of good burying. Press that in. It's a nice little um, respectable method feeder offering. Uh, the other oil in there. Yeah, it's about just onto the side here. Only about three rod lengths out, four rod lengths out, not a lot. In this particular peg, we've put a lot of soil back in when we re landscaped it, so a lot of it's kind of slid down. So it's took a lot of the depth off. Uh, like the deeper water out there is 20 foot, this we can get away with only 12, so it makes it a lot more fishable in this peg if you wanted to fish there like waggler like I normally do. This peg in particular is peg 17, uh, one of the favourites unfortunately for you guys, this is a private peg but uh, we're going to have somewhere to fish if it's real busy. So we get some back in, checking soon. So a bit of an old school tip here, uh, if you're fishing on still water, I once saw my dad do it when I must have been six or seven years old and straight away I went and got myself some bottle tops even though I didn't really know how to ledger at the time. Not necessarily having to use a uh, quick tip, just using uh, a normal barbell rod. Bit anchored on the bottom with a method feeder. Touch of the slack line, just weighted down with a washing up liquid bottle top. We just stay focused on that for a second if we might just set off. And uh, a big shout out to those who are watching the videos and giving it a big thumbs up. Um, thank you very much for the support, um, it's all greatly appreciated. Um, also make sure you hit that subscribe button at some point because we are constantly putting these videos up there hitting your screens every two to three days. Um, at least if you've got them on and you've got the little bell clicked you'll know exactly when I'm putting the new ones up. Now it's fallen silent for a second, it did bounce a little bit, we're expecting a fish but we'll, um, we'll back off a little bit and leave it and knock the camera off, put it back in the, uh, in the bivvy. Lots of betting, I get a bite and now it's raining. I bloody did too! Oh, 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 oh. Mm. That was a nice little run. 
sure the bobbins did the job. Certainly better than blanking. Nice little cap. Take them on the remains of a. Uh, I've took the food by me. So guys, we have been a bit conservative with the battery power since they were here for uh, two days. So I'm sorry if it seems a little bit brief sometimes, but we're going to end up running out of battery power. I have got some access to power points, which means going and uh, walking and plugging it in. So we'll, we'll just see if we can manage what we got. So we've just popped out, we had a little knock up and down on this and you might be looking saying why is he using the bottle tops, why don't you use the proper little bit that comes on with the chain and the clip that hangs on your line for that reason. The reason being is because where I want to position my optonic and my rear bank stick uh, to get the angle into the water and where I can hit some softer ground so I can actually drive the stick in and the positioning of my first eye in relation to the re reel couldn't then reach with my chain with the normal clip that I do use. So I needed to think of something else. As it goes, I've been carrying these bottle tops in my box for uh, probably the best part of 20, 25 years. So at least now it gives me the option to clip something else on the line that's not going to damage the line, that's not nipping the line, that comes off on a strike so it doesn't foul up around my reel or anything like that. And it just functions perfectly. Right guys, checking back in. Um, it's just had to get dark here at uh, Stark Car Lakes. I'm still on Nil Pois for the tench, but I've got two car. Um, this twilight kind of effect is coming on, and it's bites are starting to pick up. You can see the fish activity. Um, sticking with the two method feeders at the moment, we're close in. Um, got the sticky pellets on for for the bit for them. Just keep swapping about with the boilers really just try and pick up bites at the moment some sort of like green boilie i've got that seems to be getting picked up regular um it's not all the rain's gone now which is nice i've been on uh, facebook while we've, while we've been rained off and a lot of people are suffering around the country with it by the sounds of it well i had a bit of a laugh and giggle but on a serious note now it's all dried up so let's get the fishing on a little campfire going there um but the maggots have stopped crawling out of the box now it's stopped raining um so all good see what tonight brings uh, also, if we get a bit bored tonight, it might stick a really heavy rod out at some point with uh, some big, big chokers on and see if we can pick up that cat. Um, 
we haven't seen any takes from that recently, so I wonder if it's still on the live and kicking, but I reckon it will be. Right, so until later on, see you later. So as it goes guys, it's 6.20 in the morning, it's been real quiet, we've got a good bit of sleep. Bad lad, the end runs out on the rods, not even from the camp now, it's been a very, very, very quiet night. Um, fish is starting to move a little bit. Uh, lad over next door, he's had a couple of fish out in the other pond. Uh, the sun's starting to come up now, it's getting quite warm, uh, I might have to lose a layer or so. Might end up ditching the, uh, the method feeder rods, and we'll might drop out with uh, the wagmar I think. So I started to bait up in some of the areas. Like I've got some greys here to each side of me. I sat put some bait at the foot of these. Uh, and maybe one out in front of me here. Uh, and then we'll see if we can get some, uh, some better fish pulled in. So guys, that's it for me today here at Star Car. Um, I had a great weekend, uh, although it's supposed to be a tench weekend and I've not caught anything other than carp. Uh, it's still been good, uh, nice to have a night out as well on it. Um, a big thanks to my sister for doing the food. I think we've all enjoyed our dinners and teas and breakfasts and stuff. A big thanks to my mum for dropping it all off to everyone's peg, which is nice, delivery service. And a big shout out to my dad for uh, putting this uh, weekend on for us third annual tension we've done um, again it's been a good success so if you check it out on the Facebook page for the results later on um, I can tell you now that I won't be on there as um, receiving any prizes for any tension at all um, but as it goes anyway we're back here on Tuesday fishing uh, so you'll see it on your screens on Wednesday we're doing a perch session because we've seen some monster perch down there anything from two pound upwards um, and we've been feeding them, they're relatively close in, if the water stays nice and clear we guess you'll get some really good footage for that one. So if you like this video, although I don't understand why you would, uh, click the like button. Uh, also if you want to see this video, the other videos previously, and you want to keep up to date with all the new videos that are coming out, hit that subscribe button. All the uh, support we can get is really appreciated. Right from all of us here at Star Car, thank you very much for watching, see you again soon. Only fought you over cause you let him But I guess he didn't know any better Girl, that man didn't show me ever Do all I can just to show you it's special Certain it's your love that holds me together